The Métis Guardians program and initiative has been around for about four years now. And so Métis communities have been engaging with that program in a variety of different ways. Each governing member has a slightly different version of their Métis Guardians program. Here in Ontario, the Métis Guardians focus on water quality monitoring. So we're at the Ainsley Wood uh, Conservation Area and we are about to take a couple of water samples as part of the Métis Nation of Ontario's uh, province-wide water sampling program. The program itself takes, a whole, it takes into consideration a whole bunch of different potential contaminants of concern and just general water chemistry when we come out to these sites. We are going to take something called a Hariba, which is a multimeter unit. It can take a whole lot of general water chemistry parameter measurements, so you're looking at like your pH and your temperature and all your basic stuff. Uh, but we also have for our more, you know, specific uh, measurements like types of metals or oils. We have samples that are taken and sent back to the lab. So we have both citizen volunteers and staff who take part in this program. It's very important because it allows citizen engagement to get citizens out into the field and be able to not only develop skills that they may not necessarily have had access to or um, training, but also get them out onto the land and be engaged in the monitoring of their environment and their traditional territory. It also lets them get more involved and learn more about the specific projects if it's uh, water monitoring undergoing. Um, alongside with a proponent project, um, so it helps get that out. But also, as a staff member, I find it important because it helps build the relationship between the staff and the citizens by being on the ground with citizens, learning firsthand their concerns, their questions, and just establishing that good relationship. It's always nice to have that good relationship with citizens and be able to support them in any way they need. The Métis Connection to caring for lands and waters is long-standing, it's spiritual, it's been going on for generations. What the Guardians program does is just provide more opportunity to really tap into that long-standing tradition and, and cultural, spiritual practice with uh, support to really do that work on a large scale and have more Métis citizens involved with it. One of the really important things about having a program like this in place is the connection between the Métis people and the stewardship of their own lands, their own traditional territories. And there is that, that special connection that Métis people have with their lands. And this program allows those citizens to, to put that connection into action. So we're taking this connection with the land and we're turning it into actionable data. Um, so we have citizens who are going out, and sometimes we only have citizens. So our citizens, we have about um, 75 trained citizens who are trained on how to take water samples, and, and they work across the province and feed this data back into a central database. And with this database, we can do a whole host of different things. We can support our regional consultation committees when they are arguing for the protection of the traditional territories of the Métis Nation of Ontario. We can also help support other research endeavors that will um, help protect the Métis way of life. I mean, we're even, we're looking at methylmercury and fish tissue as part of this program as well. It's quite obvious that um, with the importance of fish to the Métis way of life, especially to Métis in Ontario, it's important to have a good grasp on methylmercury levels in fish, how those trends are going, what's associated with them. We're particularly looking at uh, connections between climate change and increases in methylmercury levels, particularly through the northern areas of the province. I mean, every detail of the program has been developed in conjunction with knowledge holder input, citizen knowledge holder input. So where we, where we monitor across the province, we spoke to knowledge holders about their areas of concern and then we worked with uh, both our own internal technical expertise as well as uh, some outside technical expertise to blend our traditional knowledge and western science into creating a sort of a two-eyed seeing style of water quality monitoring program. We have to get back to the eating off the land. Like, 
you seed your tree there, it's good for you. Like, you know, especially me, if I get, get a head coal, I take some cedar browse, put it in a pot, stick it on the stove, boil it till the steam comes off, and put a towel over your head. A couple days later, it's gone. You know, but that's just the old way of doing things. You know, hopefully we can kind of get back to looking after the water. You know, if we keep saying that's part of our life, then if you don't have water, you ain't gonna have much of a life. <laughs> you all need water. Water quality monitoring tells us so much, not only about what's happening in the waters, but also what's happening on land. Because water is life, it's interconnected with every aspect of the environment. Speaking with Métis communities, they really see themselves as part of that system. And I really love the focus here in Ontario on water quality monitoring because it's so important to knowing what's happening in this environment. And when we know more, we can do more. Power of information is a really exciting focus for our Guardians program.